Team Hoo Haul. Okay. Thumbs up. Remember what that means. And also, if you are not subscribed, then you better. Just hit the subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. They're not going to bother you. It won't bug you. It won't do anything. It will just make me look better. Maybe I don't look better. Okay. I'm wearing this shirt. This I shirt, This shirt I had like 40 years ago. And when I cleaned my closet out, I remembered it was my favorite. So I said, I'm going to wear it one more time to see if I like it. I do like it. It's just comfortable and... But look, the necks, you can tell it's old, the necks. But isn't that popular? Remember those shirts you buy and they're already frayed out? So I'm right in style. All right. Um, uh, let's say, I wonder how many stories I'm going to have to tell today. Now, Timu is an online shopping network. You're always supposed to say that. I always watch other people's and they always say that. It's an online shopping page network. A whole bunch of companies combine to one to sell their stuff. So keep looking because some companies have it cheaper than other companies. And I'm always about the cheapest. And I'm trying to collab with them and be their affiliate because, you know, I've purchased quite a bit from them through the year. And you have to do so many crazy stuff and like get people to sign up under you. Is that a pyramid? Then you have to get people to like, you know, buy through you, link through you and stuff. And then you have to refer people and then they join up under your referral. I don't have any more friends. I referred all my relatives, any friend that I thought of, I, then they weren't my friend anymore after I refer them so many times playing fish game and everything. So how many friends does Timu think we have? I don't have enough to become a, to be affiliated in an influencer for them, but I'm still going to buy their stuff and I'll still talk about it, but I felt like a failure anyway. So what did I buy? What did I buy? Oh, I have one more story to show My little granddaughter, Macy, she's the cutest little thing. And she kept early morning church and then she kept sleeping and not going. And so I told her, Macy, if you go to church Sunday, I'll pay you $5. I know that's naughty. You shouldn't pay people to go to church. But, you know, I didn't want her to get out of the habit and stuff. So, of course, she was eager to do that. And she did. She went to church. And then um, she called me later and said, I went to church. When do I get my $5? And I said, well, when I see you, I'll give it to you. And she goes, well, can you take me to the store then too? Just like a normal kid, right? The money burning a hole in their pocket before they even get it. That might happen to me too sometimes. Anyway, so we all wait for payday. And my little grandkids think, oh, you're old. You don't wait for payday. Yes, I do. I wait for my payday too. So anyway, um, I later picked her up and I took her to the family dollar. That's the only store we have besides the tractor store and the grocery store. So I took her there and, oh, talk about cute. She wanted, she said, my cousin Brinley birthday is in 15 days. I got to buy her birthday present. That just broke my, she spent the whole thing on the present for her cousin, picking out stuff for her. And $5 doesn't buy you much nowadays if you're buying presents, you know. But anyway, I just thought, what an angel child to spend all her money on her cousins for her birthday in 15 days. And it just really made my heart tender for her. That was so cute. So anyway, um... February 5th is her birthday, and it's also my son's birthday, February 5th. I don't know how old my son's going to be. Probably older than I think, because then that makes me older. All right, what did I buy? Stuff I needed. Remember, I only get stuff I needed, or duplicates that I bought and I like, and I bought more, like this. Except my other ones were red, and these aren't. And I paid two oh eight. Because if you bought two of them, you got it for cheaper. And I love these. Have you tried them? They are not for little baby cookies. But you could use them for that. That would be cute. They are, they have this edge on them. Like your cake pan. 
that you made a cake in and then somebody didn't put it in the sink to rinse it, right? And so here it is all crusted on there for days because somebody's not doing their job. So anyway, you know what I'm talking about, those cruddy things. And you just scrape it off and wash it. And I love these. So I bought them again because I saw they were on sale. All right, next. We are going to have an experiment with this one because I've told you about it before. But maybe you're the first time watching Material Mom because I have a lot of material to share with you. And I have a lot of material, which is fabric, too. All right. Oh, just cut it open. I can't open that thing. All right. Now, I ordered this automatic stirring cup. You push the button. Hear it? The engine does go. I mean, I know they're motors, not engines. But I love to say that around men. <laughs> Do it. When you're around men, just call it an engine. And then they feel really smart because then they tell you, no, it's not an engine. An engine goes with gas. It's a motor with a battery. You know, they try to tell you. All right. Look at this cup. I didn't know it has a little battery down there that you put in there. And so when I washed it, something came out and went down the drain and it was the battery. So then I had to spend money, 250 or something, to get new batteries. You know, if you bought a few more. And I even expecting them to go down the drain because then I bought two, four, I bought five for two, you know. Buy the other kind. The other cup with the little blades in it might cost a little more, but you don't have to keep buying these because you lose them. Now, how is this going to go right in the center? Yeah, it did. Okay, let's turn it on. It works. But I don't like that idea. Oh, look. I bet that's what this is for. Let's see. To put your extra battery in the lid. Yep. Well, why didn't they give me one an extra one? So... I do love these cups, though, but, you know, I don't like the idea. Because it takes two batteries in the bottom, too. So you got to buy the batteries, the magnets, and I don't know. All right, the next thing I got was, it was only uh, 248 And I don't know how many times I've needed this in my life. I'll probably never need another one, but I got it in case I do. All right. It's to hold the nails. You put the nail in the little thingy, and then you pinch it down, and you hold it so that you don't get your, you know, smashed. And sometimes my husband wants me to hold something for him to do. I And I'm always nervous about it. So this is be good. But you know, the worst thing to hold, let me tell you this story. My husband in on the ranch does fences. And I'm talking, this. we're doing major fences, you know, industrial, professional fences. So he needs my help. So I say, okay. I hate helping him out there, though, because, you know, you got to wear the right clothes. You got to wear the have the right fingernails, gloves, and everything, because you don't want to get messed up. Then after you help him, you have to come in and completely change. You want to take a bath if you want to go anywhere or do anything else, because you feel so gross and dirty. All right, I'll help you. So I go out there, and then he tells me, now just hold this. He's dug a hole in the ground. He says, hold this post in there. All right, what do I do? So I'm holding it, you know. Here comes the tractor with the big lifter on it and I'm standing here holding it and he's gonna ram that down on top of the pole and I'm supposed to just stand here like nothing and he goes and don't move because one time my daughter did it and she moved and then she got hurt or something telling me some story like that and I'm just like I don't want to hold this thing just do it anyway so I did it and it is horrible and then when it goes down it shakes your whole body and I do not want to be a ranch hand like that. So, and look, this even has directions on how to do it. Because we all don't know how to put the nail in there and hammer it. 
They need a giant one for those logs. They probably have one, but my husband didn't buy it. I have one of these, but it, they, it went on sale for 73 cents. I had to buy it again because I liked the first one. And I had the same problem opening the first one. All right, look. See? Put your little phone right here. It's not nice. By your bed when you're watching something by your bed. FaceTiming. Like it. And it can go the other way, too. Let's see. Yep, go the other way. It's sturdier than some. Like they have that little chair that folds out, looks like a little Barbie chair. I got one of those. It went right to the Barbie house because the Barbie chair is not sturdy. Now this one is sturdy, so I like it better. And for 70 whatever cents it is, I could give it to somebody for a gift or put it downstairs for phones down there. What did I buy? I already know all this because I went through it to price it. I don't know why people want to know the prices so much because this was 408 Because, you know, you could look up the same thing and it won't even be the same price because they change it. It says it's leather. Pleather. Let's change that to pleather. No, I bought this because it's waterproof. Not for the Harley Davidson motorcycle ride with the leather jacket, but it's waterproof. And those cloth ones aren't for 404. I like it. It's cute. What kind of back strap does it have? Back here to adjust it. Yeah, you can. I don't need to. It fits perfect. I think they had other colors. I don't remember. And then I got this other hat for the cold 304. And to look at it, I think it was not as cute as those other ones. I mean, I don't know how cute it's going to be. Oh, inside is all fur. I know I'm going to look really good in it. Look, maybe I'll give it to the grandchild. Let's try it inside out. I think this fur might be prettier on the outside. Then it would look like, you know, I like this side better. Maybe if you wear it. I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> my brother, my younger brother, he's a sheriff. And he finished, um, what's that called when they go to the school, the academy. He finished the academy and he got his first job. So he went out onto the sheriff patrol. And I like to go and ride alongs with him because you learn a lot and you see all the criminals in town and you get to find out all the stuff, all the business around and, you know, what's going on. I loved it. So anyway, um, this wasn't when I was with him, but his first time he went out, he put his hat on and they had hats that were, I don't know, some kind of police hat. And he wore it kind of like this, you know, way back like this. And he's on duty. And then the other cop came up to him and said, uh, I don't know what they called him. Uh, you're supposed to wear it down like this so you look more intimidating to people. So then my brother felt like a dork. Maybe he watched May, uh, Mayberry. What was that show? Mayberry. Barney Fife and Mayberry, and he didn't realize that that's how Barney Fife wore his hat. See, you can learn things from TV. All right, the next thing I got, my favorite washcloths of all time, if you don't have them, Get them. They go on sale for 57 cents. I sell them for 48 cents. And there's five or six in here. They're wonderful. They're soft. They could be used for baby burp throw-ups. They could be used for... I just got one wet to clean my refrigerator out here. You wonder why I went like that? Because I have a refrigerator in my bedroom. And it's right over there. Oh, I got to tell you another story. And this is funny. My daughter, Emily... She was a cheerleader. Both of my daughters were cheerleaders. They didn't get it from me. And I didn't even want to go to pep assemblies because I wasn't going to hurt my throat and yell and act crazy just to hope your team won. I'd had to do other things that were more important than that. So I never even went. I skipped them at when they had pep assemblies. I skipped. Don't tell anybody. And then I, I told the teacher I had diarrhea. If you tell the teacher you have diarrhea... They don't argue with you. They let you go right then. It is the perfect excuse for everything. But I, they probably thought I had a condition because I use that excuse a lot. 
Anyway, back to the story. My girls were cheerleaders. And Emily, she was the captain of the team. And we lived in town then. And so all her girlfriends would come over to our house waiting for the next school event, you know, because we were in town and then they didn't have to go home and stuff. So they saw my bedroom and my refrigerator in my bedroom and they saw everything. They stayed to eat with us and they, you know, they were just right at home. Well, one day the girl goes, Angela, you really inspire me. And I'm thinking, I do? How do I inspire you? And I'm thinking, you know, oh, she wants to learn to sew or maybe she likes how I decorated or, well, how did I inspire her? And then she goes, you inspired me. When I'm grown, I'm going to have a refrigerator in my bedroom too. Isn't that nice? I inspired her to do that. I wonder if she does have one in her bedroom. And I bought more of these because the last ones I had, the grandkids took them because they loved, they wear glasses and they loved them. Every time I get one, someone steals it from me. They're two for 19 cents. They're wonderful. And my brother-in-law, Rob, I heard he buys these too because he loves them. And all you do is do this. And they just like, they're like, like glasses from the eye doctor. Right from the eye doctor, clear. But I remember getting glasses when I was young and they always got scratched and everything. I think they make them better nowadays because mine don't ever get scratched and I don't think I'm any more careful with them than I would as then. They never scratch. And I got a whole bunch of these because I love them. So this is a repeat purchase. Here it is. It might have been they made, you know, they're saying buy two because they don't want to mail just one that's 57 cents. No, these were 87 and the colored ones were 57. And it's a miracle. I got these because they're all the colors. And then I got the gold ones. Because remember, if you've watched me before, I couldn't afford all of the colors one time. Every month I have to buy a couple because I can't afford to buy them or I don't want to spend that much money buying them all at once. There's, these are smaller than the other ones. All right, so what you do is you div uh, undivide the tail and there's a little thing right in here and you pull this and it is like a magic trick. Oh, these are the little, little bows. No wonder they're 57 cents, but we need little ones sometimes too. Aren't they cute? Okay, let's try the, uh, the gold one, the deluxe gold one. I like it. We have these tin roofs now. We used to have a shingle roof, but now we have a tin roof because my husband put them on because in our old age and we'll never have to shovel the roof and we'll never have to repair the tin roof. And it's a very smart idea, but we have to get used to this. Every once in a while, you will hear this big banging, sliding noise, and it's the snow falling off the roof, and I'm not used to it yet. So every time I hear it, I think there's a crash or something going on. Our house is falling down. Then I have to remind myself, no, that's the snow load. <sighs> it's scary. And it must be warming up today. That's why it's happening. Here we go. You pull this thing. Let's see if this one is prettier than the other one that gypped me. Such a little one. Oh yeah, see, isn't that cute? And look how good they store when you're storing them. And they'll just store flat with the wrapping paper. I wonder if you could make them go flat again. Let's try it, I'm wondering. All right, take the point out of the middle because you know, oh, we could get them after the birthday, gather them up, after Christmas, gather them up. And when people aren't watching, because they'll think you're stupid, I've done it before and everyone going, what are you keeping that for? Look, and then you can save them for next time. Now I got red and pink and gold and those colors. Now I gotta know what color to get next. 343. You guys are gonna need one of these because you know, First of all, we had the one kind of cord and it was wrong. 
the one that had the flat and then the curvy, you know, that was our old kind of chord. Well, now everything is a C chord, but I don't, and they give you a C chord with all this stuff, but they don't give you a long one. And I need a long C one. So now I have the long C one. So you need one of those. I know you do. Put it by my bed. All right. Now this. I want to keep this pack, pack baggy to put in it. Put it back in there. The instructions. Oh, look. They just ran them off. And it's um, going to tell you how to use it. And it charges with this. And it is, this is just heat. Just a heating one. Uh, for menstrual cramps. No, I don't have menstrual cramps anymore. But it could be for your neck, your back, anything that you want heat for. And so for when my husband complains, because he complains about a lot of things. He has a right to complain, though, because he does have a lot of issues. COPD. He had five heart valves, heart veins changed, which made his leg hurt then because they took the veins out of there. This could go on his leg because he has neuropathy now and he can't feel his feet. So then he gets sore. Oh. And then he has, um, he's supposed to have sinus surgery because his sinuses are all ruined because, no, he never smoked in his life. But he was, he did brickwork and when he built houses, he did all the fireplaces and stuff, signed the brick, and he breathed the stuff in. There's a word for it. They, you can sue people on TV, but you can't. he can't sue anybody because he didn't work for anybody. He did it to himself. So he has that and his lungs, then got COPD from the dust, and then hay. Whoever thought that? He drove the tractors with all the hay in the fields, the alfalfa and the grasses. I don't know all the kinds because, you know, it's not my thing. But anyway, and his tractor, and he never wore a hat and he never wore had a covering or anything. And so he breathed in all that hay. So they don't know if it's from the hay or the brick dust or both. And then he has sunspots that are precancerous on his head because he never wore a hat. Didn't wear sunscreen. Neither did his dad. He just did what his dad did the old school way. So now he's suffering for his, and every doctor, did you smoke? No, he never smoked in his life, but he has COPD. And he can't breathe. Go into the kitchen. He's out of breath. I feel so sorry for him, but I can't, they can't do anything for him. He's going to the doctor next, on the 25th. We're going to find out what his echocardiograph, they still said his heart is, he probably will have to have a pacemaker. And um, then they can't do anything for COPD much, I don't think. They're not very willing to help him do anything. They just like his neuropathy. And I read about it and it said the pill that's for neuropathy is heart, bad for your heart. So maybe that's why they don't give it to him. So this is why I got this heating, back to the heating thing. Because when he has problems, I used to just say, well, let's take a picture of it. When he's whining about, he has an owie on him. And then I take a picture of the wound. And he goes, why? And I said, because then next week, we can look at the picture and see how much it's improved. Or if it got worse or something. So then I would always photograph his injuries. Try that with your children or your husband's. But now, with the heart thing, I can't take a picture of it. And with neuropathy, you can't take a picture of it. So I'll try this now. Because people who are in pain and complain, they want attention. So that's going to be the attention giver. Maybe I'll take a picture of him with that on, you know, and doing it. All right. Now, I got these shoes, 563. They're going to be good, don't you think? I'm hoping that they were a lot more money to begin with. Nope. They weren't, I can tell. But they might be comfortable. And pointy toes. I heard pointy toes are a sign of richness. Rich ladies have pointy toe shoes. On the cruise, on the Queen Mary, that one lady, I saw her, and you could tell she had money, and she had pointy shoes. Might be true. But I wouldn't know, because I don't shop at those stores. 
that want, you know, the same price for a purse as you, I bought my car for, it's not going to happen. My husband used to buy, that ex-husband, motorcycle man, he would spend like 10000 on the motorcycle. With the motorcycle, you don't have a, a windshield, a heater, a, you know, all the stuff a car has. But the car was $350 back then we bought it for, and the motorcycle's 10000 And then you see people buying vacuums that are like over $1,000. Why are vacuums? They don't have a windshield. They don't have a heater. They don't have a doors, a seat, nothing. How could a vacuum cleaner be as much as a car? I don't get it. All right. I bought these in my last haul. They were $247 each. All right. So I bought two of them. And then I got these black shoes thinking I could put the bows on them. Wait, do the bows go this way or this way? I don't know. I'll have to look it up in the bow book, the shoe book, which way your bows are supposed to go. They'll be cute. Of course, you realize if I would have bought shoes, black shoes that had these on them already, it might have been cheaper than buying the shoes and these separate. No, because these were like, all right, this was $5 and this was $6. But then I could take it off. Like if I go on a cruise and I just want a dressy shoe and look, it just safety pins on. So that's going to be easy. And these shoes are holy. That's going to be easy. Safety pin it on for elegant night. Take it off for when you have to go to walk the plank, you know, so they'll be good. And look at the bottom. They have a little hand on the bottom. It'll be in the sand. I won't ever wear them in the sand. I hope they feel good on. So anyway, that was my idea. I know you all want to do it too. <laughs> all right, two sixty nine. It came. My other one came. Last time I showed you the printer, the little personalized printer, and it said I got one that said from Angela, and one that said just Angela. Now this one, let's see. All right. I better do it again. Okay. You don't want to press and hold because if you press and hold, it gets too goopy. But if you just do it lightly, it's your signature. Yes, I did that. I got it in the, the different fonts you can choose. And I got mine in kind of like italic, italic, calligraphy one, but I think a better one might have been better. <laughs> it's going to be fun when we play secretary. I like it. I'm going to put it with my other ones over here. Okay, what else? I got another one of these, 49 cents, because I'm a scrubber girl. I just clean and clean all day. No, I don't. Um, no, I don't. This is because I like one in each bathroom. I have three bathrooms and one in the kitchen. I need four. I only had two. So now I have three. Next time I'll order another one, I'll have four. I don't really know how many I have because that bathroom over there and the guest room over there, the green room, uh, I don't think there's one over there. I think I have one up here and in the kitchen. I don't know about the other bathroom, but... 49 cents, they got me. $1.25. Now I got this because you know what's coming up. It has to do with green. And I don't want anybody pinching me. Look how pretty. Rhinestones. How much? A dollar forty-nine. What was it? A dollar twenty-five. I love it. I wish these were the earrings. But you could buy a thing that makes the brooches into necklaces too. But I like this. Four leaf clover. I'm looking over. Four leaf clover. Remember that song? My dad sang it to me. These thought they would be bigger. 18 cents for a little roll of Velcro. And I bought them before and the roll was bigger. But I don't remember how much I spent on the bigger one. 
So I'm going to consolidate this and put this in one baggie for my drawer over here. I have a drawer over here that I put all of this kind of stuff that I buy extra. Like this is going to go in that drawer. The extra stuff that I bought from Timu. Timu. They, they call it something different. I've heard it said. But I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I have this drawer and I put this extra stuff. So when I know where it is. And I know all that kind of stuff's over there. Because you can't just leave it laying around. Now this was... Uh, I got two of them. I don't know. This one was $7.98. We're going to open this one first. All right. Remember I showed you, if you ever watched me before, the leather bag. Oh, this is pretty. Now, this one was a little more money. You could put it on your, wall, your belt, which I won't do. Now, I like this one. It has two pockets. I think the brown one only has one. Here's my brown one. I've been using it. Yeah, see, this brown one, leather, only has a one pocket, but I really like it. So I want it in black, because, you know, some days you're in black. You can't have brown when you're wearing all black. People are going to go, ooh. And here's the strap. Same, it's kind of a cheesy, cheap crap strap. If you're going to have leather, we would like a nicer strap, please. That's how they keep the price down. Okay. And then it has uh, this pocket here. And then it has this po Oh, there's so many. I wouldn't want them sew this. You'd have to put one, two, three, four, five zippers in this thing. Oh, I like it so much. And then Sunday when I went to church, I'll show you because it's right here. I take my big purse. This was not Timu. Oh, I'm glad I wanted my water. Um, so don't look for this on Timu because it wasn't. But then I can put this just right in my big purse when I go places. But then when I want to go in the store, I just take this in, not the big old bag that's going to break your back. But for church, I took it all because that has my license and my money and stuff in it. And so that's what I do. I don't know what this hook's for right here. They give you a little, one of these hooks right here, I guess to put your keys or something. I don't know. Cause your strap hooks onto here. And let's just do the smell test to see if it's real leather. Well, I don't really smell true real leather. It's lined kinda. It doesn't have the back of the fabric anyway. Yeah, I would say they lined it, but it's not nice lining, if you know what I mean. So, I'm happy with it. If it's not leather, it will sure fool people, because it looks like it to me. And it said it's leather. Are they false advertising? I'm putting this on here right now so it doesn't get lost, because you know how things happen. Things have fallen in the garb waste baskets before, and I've had to retrieve it because I couldn't find stuff. But here's the problem. What is this, then? One more thing in here. Um, what is this one? I don't know what this one is. Oh, and it was only $4.98. Oh, now I see it's a t it's kind of like this one. Oh, it is just like this one with just one pocket. That has two. And it has the same in the front zippers. It's just a different color. This is dark brown and this is a lighter brown. Oh, wow. I'm set to go to match anything. We're not done yet. Don't leave. Do not leave and click off because I have more. I have to close now. Sometimes. I know that this is more expensive to buy your water in this size of bottle. But I like having this littler bottle sometimes. It fits in your purse. 
and in your pocket and stuff. So, Timu doesn't sell them, though. They probably do. I just haven't looked it up. All right. This must have been some kind of good deal because they were $3.89. Have you ever heard of that price for this? It must have been a hurry now. Get it. Now, you know, I already told you. My husband, these are his favorite shoes because they're supportive. They don't run over the side like those other kind. And he can slip in them and he doesn't have to bend over with his breathing trying to tie shoes. So he loves these. But I'll tell you something. Remember he said if I buy him one more pair of shoes, he's going to throw them out. So I have to hide them until he wears out his other ones. But I just know what it's going to be. We'll be getting ready to go on a trip. And all of his shoes are going to look like crap. And I'm going to say, you're wearing those shoes? And he'll go, what's wrong with them? And I'm like, uh, it looks like cows stepped on them. And you've been walking in cow. Not supposed to say that word on here, maybe. All right. I have two of these. And now I have three. And I paid eleven eighty nine. And I would, these would be my uniform every day to wear if I had to wear a uniform. They're not scrubs. I w had to wear scrubs one time. Why do people think scrubs are great? I hate them. That cotton and they're not stretchy. I think some of them they make stretchy now. But they're not comfortable at all because they don't stretch. I want stretchy clothes. And, you know, the legs and everything. What size? I probably bought... Uh, it's, uh, does the package tell you what size? I think it does. I'll tell you. Extra large. All right, because I bought them before, so I knew what size to get, and it's big. And, oh, this one is a short sleeve. My other ones have long sleeves, and this one is a short sleeve. I don't, I hope they didn't make it front in the butt short. For the front butt short and it's black and when you hold it up like this it looks see-through but when you're wearing it it's not and the pants oh good they're perfect they're not like leggings but and they don't you know they fit me nice and they don't they're not real tight and they're not real baggy bell-bottom loose things like that because when I wear those and they're that bell-bottom leg flopping around, it feels horrible. But if I like the short sleeve, I might make, because I have them in the green and pink, might want to make them short sleeve. But I just love them. And I wore them to town. I, I didn't feel like I was wearing pajamas. But you could wear these for pajamas. You could wear them hunting. You could take them on the cruise. You could wear them, like, you know, everywhere. I just think they're wonderful. He should make a skirt, be a threesome uh, ensemble. You can make a skirt out of pants. Did I tell you that before? Seven forty nine. I should show it sometime, but I know everything I show that you sew, people aren't gonna do it. Remember my orange shoes? I keep buying orange to match my orange shoes. None of them do because the shoes are fluorescent. Now this is kind of a scarf fabric shirt not stretchy one bit and it's you know the scarf fabric like if you had a scarf to tie around your neck but I don't hate it and it unbuttons all the way that's good because you might want to wear it like a jacket it wouldn't be a warm jacket long sleeves and do the sleeves button up or anything? No. So, I like it. How much was it? Seven forty-nine. I didn't need it though, did I? Well, I got rid of so many. <laughs> and this one, oh, is beautiful. Eight ninety-nine. I hope it fits. Cause I love this color so much. Peachy. I think it's going to. It looks like it might with the V-neck to make you look a little thinner. I don't know if that's true. But to breathe, it's very well made. Look how pretty that is, how well made that is. And the sleeves, 
they're not, some of those sleeves you buy are real big old fat things. So it's not, and I don't think I'm gonna like it. This, I'll save it for good though, not to wear around the house like this one. All right, so that's all. What'd you think? 40 minutes. Ooh, oh, I forgot one more thing here. Don't go. I did not order this. I think someone in China made a mistake because I looked in all my orders. I never ordered anything like this before. Was this a gift from somebody and they had it mailed to me? L hole. It's that brand. Eel hole. L hole. That's not a very becoming word. And it's magic remover. Nail polish remover. I already have professional nail polish remover. So I would not have ordered this. Oh, it's thick. Were you, did you order this and you didn't get it in your package? The accident and put it in mine. No, it was mailed separate. Maybe it's a gift from my sister. And she said, Angela could use this. I don't know, but I got two of them. I'm going to take a picture of it. Let's do this. Bear with me. Let's take a picture of it from Timu. Remember how I showed you how you take a picture to find out stuff, what you bought, what you want to find. Say you have something that you want to know. So go right here. Somebody wanted to see this one more time. See this bar right here. And there's a little camera right here at the end. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Oh, they're so touchy. See, not the black. Not that black thing. That's the search button. It's the thing right next to it in the bar. And you just push it. And if you push it, then the camera comes up. And then you hold it on your item you want to find out. Do you sell this? Do you have this? 248 Gel Nag Magic Nail Polish. And two ninety nine and two forty eight, so it's five dollars. Whatever I got, five dollars worth. Thanks. Maybe it was just my bonus present for something. I don't know. But anyway, I can't send it back. I don't. You know, I'm just gonna keep it. Thank you. All right. So that's it for today. But I'll tell you what I do. I make these today, whatever day I get the stuff, and then. I get it all ready to go, but I do not mail it. I mean, I do not post it till in the morning. I like to post them when I wake up in the morning because then that's when I do it. And then I don't have to worry the rest of the day because I did post something. So that's the way my mind thinks, the way I move. All right, here I come. 